now we will discuss something about shear center so far what is the de definition you would have uh, heard about shear center shear center is uh, the loads must be applied at a particular point in the cross section called the shear center if the beam is to bend without twisting this is the general definition we would have uh, referred in any book uh, this is taken from uh, mechanics of material by gere uh, okay this is the general definition for shear center the beam will bend without twisting okay now i'll explain lateral torsional buckling and we will see what is shear center with respect to that in the case of uh, lateral torsional buckling there the flexural buckling about the minor axis will couple with shear center here the minor axis indicates the loading plane for example i consider a i section member as a flexural member and it is simply supported at the ends this is this support is said to be flexurally simply supported okay and it is having torsional restraint at the ends this is said to be torsionally simply supported because it will restrain the twisting at the ends the cross section cannot undergo twisting at this location and here and here whereas it can undergo warping deformation warping deformation means in the longitudinal direction it can undergo uh, deformation due to the warping torsion okay that is said to be simply supported uh, uh, condition for torsion condition torsional boundary condition in the case of uh, uh, flexural condition what we say we restrain the deflection whereas we allow the rotation in the same way here we restrain the twisting whereas we allow the warping okay it is analogy to uh, flexural boundary condition okay now it is subjected to a point load a concentrated load at the center and the load is passing through the shear center since it is a equal uh, flange i section the centroid and shear center is going to match at the same location and the load applied uh at the center of the web which will naturally will pass through the shear center okay in that case the beam will undergo lateral torsional buckling like this so let's take the cross section at the mid uh mid length and we will view it in the side view so the load is acting at this uh, location prior to uh, lateral torsional buckling it will undergo the deformation which is about the major axis it has undergone uh, deformation then when it reaches the critical buckling load it undergoes the horizontal deflection together with the twisting okay so here the deflection is sub, uh, with respect to the minor uh, principal axis and twisting is happening with respect to the shear center axis now look at that the load is still passing through the shear center in that case also the twisting and flexural deformation are coupled so what is the difference then how do we define the shear center now we should have the clear notion between the bending and buckling in the case of bending only the load passing through the shear center will uncouple the bending deformation and twisting deformation in other words it will nullify the twisting deformation and the beam will undergo only the bending deformation in the case of lateral torsional buckling this is a buckling phenomena in which the flexural buckling about the loading plane this is the loading plane and about which it should undergo the lateral uh, deflection together with the twisting about shear center axis that means the coupling between flexural buckling and uh, torsional buckling is happening that means uh, twisting is not nullified that twisting deformation is not nullified in the case of buckling so first you should understand this what is bending problem what is buckling problem okay so the the word shear center plays different role in different behavior if you are uh, dealing with bending behavior whatever said above is true in the case of uh, uh, buckling behavior whatever said below is true okay so don't stick with one concept of shear center for every cross section and every behavior 